you're going to be a boxer, you're going to have to train. That means you're going to have to work. You come away with courage. For anyone who steps in that ring has to be courageous. I don't care if you go down in 10 seconds or you win the fight in, in three rounds. You've got, to be, you've got to have courage to step into that ring. You know, you, you've got to be tough, both mentally and physically. And the last thing I think you have to have is hope. You've got to have a dream, you've got to have a hope that you're going to succeed, that you're going to be the champ. You know, when I think about, you know, the goal of the gloves was, you know, obviously the event. You know, if you could fight in a lot of different amateur tournaments, the gloves is the most memorable one. Um, you know, my memories of the gloves are, the, they're the fights, of course, the fights that you had, but they're uh, also just the people. I love it. I think it's great for kids. It's great for kids to work out and get in shape and try to win the title at the Golden Gloves and, you know, I, I did it, got me here. They mean a lot to the community, because remember, if, uh, when you look across the country, when you think of Golden Gloves charters, it's mostly big cities. You know, it's New York City, it's, uh, you know, places like that that, that have Golden Gloves teams. Uh, and Boston doesn't have it, Lowell has it. Uh, we're the New England uh, Golden Gloves, the home for the New England Golden Gloves. And that history goes way back, and many great fighters have come through there. I mean, just in, you know, Rocky Marciano fought there. Uh, Marvin Hagler fought there. Uh, and many others since then and before that. You know, I think you, you, you treat the game with the respect that it deserves. And I don't care whether it's baseball, football, or boxing. At the end of the day, the game will respect you. And the, and the, the, the experiences that you get will be ones you'll always remember, whether you do it for two years or 20 years. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for boxing. I met people boxing open doors for me and open doors to the state house. I spent 10 years in the House of Representatives. And my 22nd year as the Auditor of the Commonwealth, elected statewide. So if I were not for boxing, I would never be here. <laughs>